in the past. You may have met this sea lion before. He spent a few months with us here back in 2006, but unfortunately, he couldn't stop long. I'll explain more in a minute. He's now back with us, he's here to stay, and he is quite a big chap. This is Clive. He is uh, the alpha male. At the age of 19, he's bigger than the other three put together. Weighs about 35 stone, about 300 kilos. Now, back in 2006, we had an amazing sea lion here called Benson, who was our alpha male at the time and had been for many years, having originally come from SeaWorld in California. Now, Clive came and Clive decided he wanted to be alpha male. Benson wasn't having that, so it led to a lot of aggression. Basically, all they wanted to do was fight constantly. We tried everything we could to get them to get along, nothing worked. They just fought and fought some more. So we kept them in separate pools. We kept one in this pool, one in that pool, to stop them fighting. It worked for about a month, and then Clive learned how to jump out of this pool, over the fence, into that pool, to go and have a fight. So from then on, we kept one in this pool and one in that pool, where Merlin is. That worked for about a month, and then Clive learned how to smash the door off its hinges to get in with Benson and have a fight. Yeah, basically, it didn't work. So he had to return to the park he came from. Now, Benson, very sadly, back in there, 2011, in June, passed away at the amazing age of 27. That's very old for these animals. He passed away very peacefully, and that gave us, us the chance to bring Clive back here. The pool he was in before was much smaller. We wanted to give him a bit more space, so he made his return, and this visit has been a lot more successful. He now knows he's alpha male, and he doesn't bother the others at all. He's a great sea lion, a lot of fun. But um, just not the brightest sea lion I've ever worked with. I've worked with a few, Ben's one of the smartest, this one at the other end of the spectrum, but never mind. We've practiced lots of different things with him since he joined us here. We quickly discovered that balancing wasn't his thing. He can't catch a hoop either, if you throw a hoop to him, he ducks out of the way. Uh, he can, though, catch a frisbee. This is something we discovered quite early on. He's good at catching frisbees. Now, to be honest, it's not that impressive, but he thinks this is fantastic, so if he catches it, give him a clap. Are you ready, Clive? Catch that. Easy, no problem. But then we have a problem, because he's so proud that he's caught his frisbee that he refuses to let go of it. Yes, this is where the training falls down a bit. Um, and you can't get it out of his mouth. The first time we did this with him, he spent four hours swimming around in the pool, looking pleased with himself, but he wouldn't let go of his frisbee. We tried getting him to throw it back to us. Watch what happens. Throw me the frisbee. No. <laughs> That's his response. Go on, please. No chance. So you have to swap the frisbee for, you guessed it, a fish. And that's the case of the sea lion training the trainer. Yes, well done, Clive. We have to work on that. He can do a more impressive catch, though. Now, I do take the mickey out of him, saying how he's not that clever. But none of the other sea lions here can catch a basketball with their flippers. They're used to catching with the mouth. That's why catching a frisbee is easy. This is really hard. Show me your goalkeeping pose. Concentrate. You've got to keep it between those flippers. Don't let it go in the pool. Catch. Oh dear. It went in the pool. Now stay there. We have a problem here too because if the ball goes in the pool, what normally happens is Clive dives in after it and bursts it with his teeth. We've gone through about 30 basketballs since he returned, but he's, uh, he's behaving himself. So we'll try that again. It was a rubbish throw. My throwing is dreadful. Watch this. This is where the trainer falls in the pool. Camera's ready. No, I've got it. Right, we'll try again, Clive. Right, that one was bad luck, so we'll use this one. Second time lucky, are you ready? Catch! Oh, he held it that time, just. And then he tries to clap, and he can't work out why he can't clap. Right. Uh, you can see on top of his head, he's got a funny patch of spiky fur. That's called a crest. The male sea lions develop a crest in the late stages of life, along with that male. The fur around his neck, you see, beginning to thicken out to form a very slight male. Uh, he is actually quite friendly for an alpha male. Uh, usually the alpha males in the group are more aggressive. He's got such big teeth and such a powerful jaw that if he did bite me, he could break bones. If they bite, lock their jaws and shake their head, they can sever limbs when they get this big. So you always have to treat them with a lot of respect. But luckily for us, he's not aggressive at all. Now, you can do a front flipper stamp, can't you? You saw Merlin doing this earlier on. He weighs 35 stone, so it's a bit more impressive when you do it. Take a deep breath, show us your gymnastic skills. Yeah, look at that, easily holding that weight there. No problem, even for a big fella. 
Right, in a moment we are going to bring them all back out. But Clive's going to end the show with the big finale, the ball jump. A lot of strength needed here too. He's got to launch his body out of the water, again using those front flippers. He's got to lift his body right out of the pool. He's got to touch the, the uh, yellow ball up there above the pool. And that is your target up there. You can see the yellow ball. You have to touch it with your nose. If you do, this audience will give you a massive cheer. He doesn't always hit it, by the way. In fact, more often than not, you miss, don't you? Yes, and you're very disappointed when that happens, I know. But I know when you hit it, you are very proud of yourself, and rightly so. If he hits it, a big cheer. If he misses, we'll give him a clap just for trying. But as I said, it does take some effort to jump that high when you're as big as him. Uh, all the other sea lions will be coming back out into the main pool in a moment. We've opened up the doors at the side. So afterwards, if you go inside, they'll all be swimming around in there. We'll be feeding them all in the pool. So you can watch them all swimming around a bit closer. And if you do want to ask us anything at all, please come for a chat. Uh, myself, one of our other trainers, Lauren, will be inside. We'd love to answer any questions you have. And if you want, you can buy a book or a poster. Uh, we've got books and stuff in the shop featuring Clive and the others. And anything you buy in there goes back towards the sea lion sea, paying for our never-ending fish bill. Right, Clive, it's down to you now. You know what to do. This is your big moment. Are you ready for a countdown? Are you? That was your cue to nod. Three, two, one. Go on, you can do it if you try. Yes, just, he definitely made contact. It's moving, you got it that time. Look how proud he is when he hits that ball. Yeah, well, how proud of you too. So. Thank you very much for coming today. I hope you've enjoyed meeting the Sea Lions. And I hope you have a great time at Flamingo Land. I also hope you come and see us again soon. But for now, from Clive, Merlin and me, bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Give us a wave. Thank you. Well done, big fella. Good luck. Come on, have a look. Right, you go in there, I'll go find the others.